Howdy ho, you beautiful people. Hey. Hi. How's every little thing going in the Mayberry Township? My name is Rick Roberts. I play the character Warren, who on the weekends is occasionally a Barney Fife impersonator. That's what you call a way homer. <laughs> The way home? What's that? That's one you get on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> but primarily in the Mayberry series, I'm Warren, the postal deliverer. That's what I do in my real job when I'm not going to these fancy Mayberry activities. I feel like the older I get, the more I kind of shrink a little bit and look a little bit more like Don Knotts. Like, hey, how's it going, everybody? Who is that? That's my backup. <laughs> <laughs> Warren in the series, you get to learn about him a little bit more. He is the postal carrier for the town, so kind of like how Barney knew what was going on around the town. You'll never guess what happened. I don't know why. Go ahead, guess. Warren is in that role where he sees different people every day. He knows what's going on. And we always say it's not a remake of The Andy Griffith Show, but we're trying to bring back the feel and the nostalgia of that show, when people actually treated each other well. Well, we don't have much money. Well, we don't need any money. Oh, what do you need? I have so many people after I do my clean comedy show come up and go, I wish there was more shows like that. Well, this is a show like that. Uh, it's not that, but it's very close in the feel of it. The storylines, the way the townspeople talk to each other, respect each other, pulling for each other. That's what we've got. And I don't think there's much of that on TV anywhere. Oh, spirits of Andy and... Oh, I was just looking for the bathroom. It's a courthouse. It's just a replica. Will you nip it, Alan? When I first heard it was gonna be a crowd-funded project, my first thought was, man, I hope these crowds have a lot of funds so we can do this. And uh, not only did they step up and step in, we had so much support. If you watch the Mayberry Man movie, the, the ending credits is about 10 minutes long because so many people supported it. And they had the chance to do that with the series too, and uh, different people stepped in who didn't know about the first round, and some people stayed through the whole thing. And what's been fun is getting not only to do the project, but we got to meet a lot of those people at a lot of the events, the premieres, different things like that. So they're all people that would live in a town like Mayberry, and so we've not had much stress when we shoot these things. It's so much fun because everybody has a common bond, the love of the show and the spirit. And they actually, including the actors and everybody behind it, we all kind of have that where we want to help each other out. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's interesting working with other actors. As a stand-up, I'm usually there by myself. I write the script, if you want to call it that, do my show, I critique myself. And now I'm in scene with actors who've studied acting, who've been in movies, who have learned, they have acting coaches, vocal coaches, all kinds of stuff. So I just try to stick myself in the scene and, and not distract from it. I try to learn from the folks and everybody's been really gracious. Uh, there's been times when we cut a scene and just get a little tip from one of them or something else. You know, Brett Varvel, who's just, he's been around. I'm a fan of his. Get to be in scenes with him. He's got a director's eye and a producer's eye and an actor's eye. Well, what do you think brings him to town? Most of my scenes in this uh, series takes place in the Mayberry Township. And that's a town that's run, the town of Mayberry by Allen and I'm the postal deliverer, so I'm stopping in, kind of catching up on some gossip, some tidbits. And the way I kind of think of it is the township is kind of like the center of a spider web. So we got all these different storylines that go off, but everything has to come through the township and kind of filter through that area for the next scene to happen. So we're kind of like the hub, like the octopus's head maybe, if you look at it that way. I would advise any time that we're in the Mayberry Township, you pay attention, because things are about to go one direction or another. One of the coolest things about the series is I get to be in scenes with Janet, who's played by Karen Knotts, the daughter of Don Knotts, of course, who I try to impersonate half, half the time when I'm doing my gig. So it's extra interesting to play off of her and to, to see her mannerisms, too, that are reflected back in her genes from her parents. It's, it's really extra cool, and it's giving me a little extra fun here while we're shooting here on the lot. Right here. All right. Yeah, that's great. Pretty much all of my scenes are with Alan, who's the, the manager of the town of Mayberry. And what's fun about that is, in the scenes, we're friends. Off screen, we're friends now. And we've become friends because of the Mayberry Man movie and now the series. So we've got to do different events together. We've got to uh, actually do a, a couple really fun ones where it's just me and him on stage and characters, Barney and Floyd. We call ourselves Nip It and Snip It. <laughs> but we have a lot of fun. And I think that comes through in the series, too, as well as the movie. We, we don't really, we're not actors as much as the others in a way. So sometimes we don't know when we should be stressed out or if we do get stressed out, we're there for each other. We're just like, hey man, just relax, do it this way. And so we're looking out for each other when we're doing it. But it's fun to be in a, in a scene with somebody who's got kind of the same level of experience as I do. And hopefully we just help each other out as we go. Are you kidding? I've got musical talent surging through my veins. 
The Mayberry Man series really is for anybody that wants to reconnect with good values, be able to watch a show with their kids, their grandparents, coworkers. I mean, people don't want to be ashamed of what they're watching on TV. You can still tell a great story, not swear, not be violent. Nobody gets hurt in the show, but it's still riveting. You really want to lean into these characters to figure out what they're doing. I think you'll like it. Hey, listen, if you like that video, hit the like button. There's going to be plenty more. If you want more videos about The Andy Griffith Show, be sure to hit subscribe and click that little bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Come on, baby.